Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite Neville Goddard lectures called Trust in God. If you don't believe that Neville Goddard talks about love enough, this is the one for you. It talks all about how the power of love can transform all things, for with God all things are possible, and God is synonymous with love. Neville begins, A friend recently shared a wonderful experience with me. It seems a neighbor was forever dropping in on her, constantly telling horrible stories about her friends. She tried to tell the woman how to change things by using her imagination, but she would not listen. And although she imagined the woman as a fine, happy, positive person, she remained in her negative state. So maybe you've been like this woman, trying to change another person in your life through creative use of your imagination, trying to feel into scenes that imply that they're more positively natured. Perhaps it did not work. But you haven't failed. Listen to this. Neville continues. Realizing the lady was a character that my friend had to overcome, she began to change her thoughts. In her imagination, she told the neighbor that she loved her. This she persisted in doing until one day she realized she really did. That night, she had this dream. She found herself sitting in the shade of a beautiful tree. A figure approached, looking like a goddess, in a long white gown with loose sleeves and a silver belt. Suddenly, she realized it was her friend who came to say goodbye. They embraced and she felt a surge of love for that woman, which she had never known known for anyone before. The next day, the lady came to her door and said, I gave my notice this morning, and I came to say goodbye. Now why did this method of loving the woman in her imagination work? Because to God all things are possible, and God is love. When in doubt, do the loving thing. We try up and down to manifest changes in our lives, and then become doubtful if it does not work. But the question remains, have you done the loving thing? Loving attention brings the wilted flower to life again. It turns the stray to a house pet. And in this case, it turns the negative into a goddess or angel. Love is the answer. It is the greatest of all things. Neville continues. Then my friend added this thought. If I could fall as much in love with the being within me as I did with this woman, I would be completely transformed, which in turn would create great changes in my outer world of effects. For now I know my friend's transformation took place within me. Can you love your inner being, God, imagination? I tell you there is no greater use of your attention. When you love your imagination, you are loving yourself, your true self. For that is the God of all things and the being which brings to life all that which you desire. Neville adds, Scripture tells us to love God because he first loved us and that we should imitate him as a dear child. How is this done? By falling in love. Whether your desire be for wealth, fame, health, or marriage, you must fall in love with the state. My friend fell in love, and so transformed the lady that she will never again encounter that state. So there you have it, the transformational power that makes all changes that we try to manifest is love itself. Fall in love with the state of the wish fulfilled. Fall in love with the feeling of the fulfillment, the satisfaction, the relief of your desire made real in your life. Give love to that being within yourself, your imagination, your inner God self, your higher self, whatever you want to call it, and you will be wisely investing that energy because you will be truly loving yourself. And through loving yourself, you will transform to the nth degree of spiritual perfection. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much. I'll see you next time. Take care.